What is up, Matthew Nemo here for the first reaction to Steve Angelo's Human. This is his sophomore album, it's 21 songs, an hour and a half long. Not a whole lot of features, so it looks like we're gonna be getting a whole bunch of instrumental dance Steve Angelo on this project. I'm very curious to see how it plays out, because he usually has a ton of vocals on his songs. At least he did on the last album. I'm very excited, so let's get it started with Rejoice featuring T.D. Jakes. Look at your neighbor and ask him, do you have a mind to drink? Already very soulful. This whole vibe's kind of sounding a little 80s. Emily is alive. I will rejoice. Okay. Ha! Huh. Yeah. Very outrun sounding. Huh. All right, now we're kind of getting somewhere. Usually people in at least Modern House use these gospel samples more to set an energy and a vibe. But I think I'm supposed to literally be hearing, listening to this person right now and taking it word for word. Uh, it just should not be six minutes long. This is way too long. All right, rejoice, intro track. It's definitely the longest intro to any EDM song I've ever heard and probably to its detriment. I didn't really buy into the soulful sample. I do think that the more electro, older, outrun style is very interesting to hear. However, there was enough new elements of that electro, there was enough new elements of the electro style except for that one breakdown towards like the second, third of the song. However, that it had a whole other C section that was very similar to the rest of the song. So a little bit of a snooze, gonna be honest. Not necessarily a terrible song, but but just really couldn't hold my attention. Next up is Breaking Kind by Paul Meany. I bet this whole album's gonna be 80s vibe. Ha. That's a little Vox in the background too. Haha. <laughs> Almost sounds like The Weeknd actually, for some reason. This is bad. This bass is super thick. Not a bad song. I'm still trying to warm up to Steve Angel's kind of new style. I didn't really expect this going in this album. It's really a huge change up from 120 BPM Swedish style to a more French touched lower BPM. It's very interesting to hear and it's being executed pretty well. A lot of very thick basses, some interesting Vox samples as well. So overall, I'm gonna say I'm a pretty big fan of the song. Next is Flashing Lights featuring Highly Sedated. Yup. Uh-huh. Now this is classic Switch House Mafia stuff. Nice. <laughs> Powerful. Interesting. Kind of reminds me of like down tempo, above and beyond. Definitely my favorite so far. Very straightforward structure as far as the song went. You had that little chant in the beginning, drop, little soulful interlude, and then the drop again. But each element was executed very well, and I really did enjoy the syncopated rhythm and then it just cuts off the volume of the bass and comes back in. You know exactly what I'm talking about. Makes it very, very bouncy and fun to listen to. Pretty big fan of the song. Next is Glory by Steve Angelo. I don't know if I'm a huge organ fan in the way Steve Angelo's been doing things. I usually like, I like hot boy double organ action, like in bands like Boston and like more older rock bands. The way that he's sort of using it is very slow. I'll tell you, if you like ARPs, you're gonna like this album a lot. It's been like an ARP in every song. Okay. Wow, he's a genius. Oh, here we go. Oh my gosh. I don't know, man. 
That was so straightforward. <laughs> I don't really know how that song was necessarily different than the other songs because it didn't have a vocal in it. Just kind of boring. I don't really know how I'm supposed to be necessarily impressed by that. I guess if you're just a huge fan of this sort of style, then maybe you enjoy it, but I've heard more compelling things, for example, from the Kavinsky album from like four or five years ago. Big skip. So now this is like the first thing that's like greatly different is the fifth song. So finally we have something a little bit different. This whole song has been very interesting. Ha! Nice! Yeah! Yo! Oh, uh, Grace by Steve Angelo. Yeah, it's my first reaction to it. It's good. And that was Isaac, everybody. Give it up for Isaac. This breakdown's so dramatic. And that's the thing is, now with this song, how well this song's being put together, he just does this kind of music way better than the Elbron Electro stuff that I've heard so far by him. Like, dude, this riser, it's fucking filthy. <laughs> wow, this is straight power. So that was definitely my favorite of the album so far. It, this really just shows us how much better he is at that Swedish progressive house style than he is at that French electro house style. There's just so many more interesting subtle things and at the same time it's just like the finish, the sounds, the selection of every single element in the song. Just straight perfect. This song is really really dope. Next is Are You featuring WDL. The thick bass. Okay. Really straightforward. I feel like if you gave this vocal and this tempo to Mateon, it'd be like way better though. Oh my god, we're gonna ride this out all the way to the end of the song. Uh. That song just made me think about how much better a more advanced and experienced down tempo electro house artist like Medion would pull off that vocal. That song just was a little too straightforward, not a lot of new elements coming in. For me, I'm not just gonna be listening to a melody and some chords and chill out for four minutes on that. I need a little bit more action going on, some more surprises. Not impressed by that one either. Next is 21. <laughs> is this a Gatorade commercial? Yeah, this could be sick. What is what's gonna happen here? Wow, thanks, Steve. So, did he actually play those drums, or did he write those drums, or just have someone play the drums and he recorded it? He had the coolest snares that I heard, and he did nothing with them. He just let him play for three minutes. Uh, I guess that was an interlude, and we're not gonna get too mad about it. We're just gonna move on to Lord. Oh shit! Haha! <laughs> no way! Dude, there's something fucked up with that kick drum. It's like reverb on it. It's really cool. Yeah, this is probably my favorite on the album. I'm adding this. This is. We're sending this. And turning this shit up. Someone's gotta drop this in a set, quick. <laughs> it's like Blue Man Group meets Dead Mouse 4 times 4 equals 12 era. Yo, this is the longest build I've ever heard and it's not getting quieter. Is there any automation going on right now? What the hell? Low key, a really, really cool house banger. Really cool experimentation with sounds. And then of course the mixing was just phenomenal. The one thing, you got a five minute song. You could maybe have a little bit more progression throughout the whole track. Chop it up, change up the bass sound a little bit, add an extra like, you know, laser sound synth. It's super dope, but you could have had just one more element on it to make it really, really like that fucking song. And that's kind of a problem with all these songs. The second half is the same as the first half of all these songs. For the whole song in that first, 
you know, minute, minute and a half. Which isn't bad, you know, I do like quite a few like Dead Mouse songs that are six, seven, eight minutes long. But those songs are from a while ago, like even Dead Mouse now still does different change-ups now in his music. However, still probably one of my favorites of the album just because of that cool experimentation factor and I haven't heard anything quite like it. Next up is Wanna. I can totally hear it. So yeah, I like how that song had a slightly different second drop than the first. Had a couple more elements in it, made it a little bit more interesting. Up next is The Kiss. Whoa! This is the weirdest trumpet sound I've ever heard. Hey! Fuck with this though. This drum pattern's fucking me up though, I'm not gonna lie. Huh. That's thick. See, now this is cool. This was a great progression all the way through this. An actually interesting progressive track. All the elements were all very interesting, except for that trumpet that was panning back and forth throughout the whole song. I wish that maybe was like a chord or some sort of synth or maybe an organ. Just something that sounded a little bit less dorky to be honest. By the end of that song, I was really into it. There was a lot of, all the synths came together really well, including that strum pattern, like, especially that strum pattern that reminded me of Daft Punk's Veritas Quo. Very, very cool. Next is God. When his son says, so God made a farmer. Yeah, I don't know about that quote. I can see this drop coming in from a mile away. It's just not doing much for me in 2018. Really, it's just not that compelling. Next up is I Know. Yup. Little Sophie style. Ha! Huh. Nice. I like the obscene amount of reverb going on right now. Give a lot of character. <laughs> Very pretty chords. This song's dope. Haha. <laughs> That's dope. Now that art was very pretty. Some very interesting textures as well, especially in that intro. Synth with the crazy reverb and delay. Very danceable to listen to. A lot of cool, interesting elements. I actually found that the vocal phrase that was repeated over again not to be that annoying, even though it was throughout the whole track. Pretty big fan of this song. Next up is Freedom featuring King Push. Did this sound like a year or two old? Why have I heard this Pusha T do a sound like this before? Yeah, man. We're young and we're gonna take back because we're the youth. I don't think that'll be the anthem to any revolution or large movement. I don't think it'll have any impact. Next up is fire. Well, I think it's cool that Steve Angel is showing you can go a different BPM. I don't think he's doing enough interesting things within that space to really call other artists to do the same. Like compare, you know, what Rez has been doing, what 1788L has been doing, just two people just off dome. They've been doing just much more interesting things that are really making people flock to the style. I don't think Steve Angel is necessarily doing anything that's inspiring other artists to try out the style, to be honest. At least I don't think anyone's gonna be like, listening to this and being like, oh my God, I need to make 120 BPM music now. Next up is Heroes. Little sound, little oh shit. Oh, yes. 
Find some actual soul samples. Something I actually like about that era. Where the hell did that cool sample go? It's like almost like whitewashed electro outrun. Not to mention like the album cover and all the single covers. Do not make me think of this sort of music at all. Like this this music's very colorful. And like I can see neon. Like fuck it, let's Like this is so much more crisp and warm of a sound. Next up is Paradiso. Like have I not just heard this like at least four other times? And it doesn't even have a vocal over it. There's nothing to distinguish it, really. Like, yeah, organ violin backing, arp up top. No, don't don't dare have snares in the builds. It's too EDM cliche. Instead just Yep, add some reverb. This project is too long. There's too many songs that so bloated. It's ridiculous. Next up is Dopamine featuring Burns Conway. Even though you just said you might die. Nice thick square base. It's not bad. I like uh, the sentiment. Very pretty. If you're going through a tough time, I think it's a good song to listen to because it's a sad song about a relationship. Next up is Break Me Down. Hey, snares in the build. Spend an hour. Ha. Woo. This is solid. Trying to figure out what the chorus is, but it's kind of just kind of crushing it. The two definitely better songs of the album is Progressive has. Solid. Solid. The second Progressive House sounding song of the album, and it's definitely one of the better ones. The performance was actually pretty sweet, so. Another plus. Another plus song. Next up is Eros. Damn, son, where'd you find this? This is nice and spacey, actually. I don't mind this. I definitely would have replaced this with the drum song. This is a very, very beautiful interlude, actually. Maybe a little too long for some people, but I think it served its purpose really well. Very pleasant since. 20 songs down, one more to go. Last song is Nothing Scares Me Anymore with Sam Martin. This is cute. This should have been the intro to the album, not gonna lie. This definitely has the most instantaneous grabbing power. Haha! <laughs> Ooh, Tshizig of rocks. Ha! That's not bad. Oh yeah, this is good. Great finisher to the album. A lot of cool classical elements in that song. A lot of drama, and then also the drop itself is a very sleek, down-tempo Swedish house sort of sound. Very big fan of that song. However, overall, this album was way too bloated. I would say cut at least, I would cut half of these songs. And then maybe, then you have a dope album. Half of the outrun Electro House songs that sound a little bit more French than it does that Swedish progressive style overstay their welcome. They're all kind of too long and then some of them are just very, very similar, at least on the first listen. The best songs of the album are the more Swedish style the more coarse Evangelo sound. So I don't know why he overinvested into having probably three quarters of this album be that newer style. Like as far as like as far as an hour and a half album, the song really didn't keep my interest that long. Maybe I'm, it's supposed to be listened in like halves or like a couple parts, but I didn't really pick up on any on any motifs or any like 
breaks necessarily except for that one song with the drums on it and then as a whole the concept of being human other than the first song dopamine and then the last song of the album i didn't really get any theme about being human what that necessarily entails at least to the degree of his last album if you're going to go for that french house style you need to have a bit more soul a bit more experimentation just something to make it sound new and refreshing or at least sound authentic one of those two you can't just kind of have a whitewashed very straightforward version of it and expect it to really pay off huge he's responsible for quite a few classic all-time edm songs but i don't hear any of those on this project so what did you guys think of the album do you guys think it was too long do you guys like that he switched up his style a bit let me know below if you enjoyed the video remember to like subscribe this has been a space jump first reaction to human by steve angelo i'll see you guys next time